Hey Bubbly Tees, today I will be teaching you guys how to make a card on an extended about me page on any social media account. Before I start, I just want to say that my voice may seem a bit different because I am sick right now. So I was thinking on rescheduling or canceling this video, but I decided to just go on with it even though my voice might eventually just die out. Let's just get started. The first step you want to do is you want to open the card website. So go into your search bar and search up card.co and make sure there's two R's in the link. And then the next step is just to press enter, of course, and it will bring you to this website. So what you want to click on next is choose a starting point and it will bring you over to this site. So this is leading on to the second step. So as you can see, there's a lot of cards here. This is the all section and there's different places. I mean, not places, more like cards that you can choose from. So I will just be going through each one of these sections so I can tell you guys which ones I might recommend and which ones I might not recommend. So the first part here is profile and your personal corner of the world wide web tell the world a little bit about yourself so it's basically more towards the about me page section which is what we're definitely going for so i think this would be a great page to start off on there might be a little bit of cards that have the symbol that says pro and of course that means you have to pay for it so I wouldn't recommend using those cards, just use the ones that are free because they tend to be the best ones still. And that's all I have to say with this profile section. Totally recommended because remember you're going for a about me section, bio, extended version, and like that's the point of this tutorial. So I would go with things that fit that category. Okay, so next step is landing. Um, most of these are pro pro enabled so i wouldn't really recommend this section because all you have to do is pay for it and i don't think that's what i would do if i was going to make a card like you don't really need to pay for anything i don't think you should go on landing um form is also the same thing all of these are just pro so don't mind that one let's move on to perform the portfolio uh this is basically used towards images, photography, um, something you want to showcase, art. I personally use portfolio because my social media account, which is mostly Instagram, revolves around my art. So I just used this section because I think it's really helpful for what my hobby is. So if you're more towards the image side, and want to showcase more of your, you know, if you want to showcase stuff like a collage, then I would probably recommend this. Okay, next one is section. They're all revolving around slides and I don't think we're going towards a presentation type of um, tutorial. So I wouldn't really recommend this section either. But it, then again, you can choose any one of these cards because it's your card that you're going to be using for your social media account. So if you want to use it, go ahead and use it. I just think that you should make cards that are more simple and accessible to use more than just like clicking and reading a bunch of stuff because I know a lot of people are just going to scan a bit of your about stuff. So you want to make it short as possible so that you don't really waste your time and that people can just read through it and still learn a lot of things about you. That's all I have to say for all five of these sections. So choose anything you want. I would recommend going for the short and easy cards and avoiding the premium ones. Since I worked more with portfolio, I think I'm gonna go th towards the profile section. Um, all right, let's just go with this Jane Doe one because I don't know. I'm just gonna choose something that's uh, more easy to work with. Th that moves towards the next step, which is the third step and that is to customize your card. So what I will be doing first is I will be clicking on the title. Uh, so what you want to put on the title is probably your name. So I'm just going to put Elbub there 
and there are also like some suggestions if you want to put on some formatting so if you want to add like let's just say you want to bold it so put two asterisks and um that doesn't really work that much with the, this font but um if you want to bold it if you also if you want to italicize it you can do like that uh i i do use some of these a bit but i don't really use them that much i might just use the italic one i think that's pretty cool so i'll just use that as an example and that's when you and then when you're done okay yes okay so um, if you look in the top here, there are a few choices, like you can use this paintbrush to color it. So I'm just going to make it yellow, because I like yellow. Uh, there you go. And you can also change the font. I don't know if you can get custom fonts, but uh, I don't think, I don't know. I usually use the Courier New, because I just personally like that font. Okay, I think I'll use that one. Um, it looks more better when it's bolded. And you can also change like the size, uh, you can also change, I don't know what this does, I don't think this does anything. Um, we can also change the line spacing, so if you wanted to make it away from letters or close to letters, you can also do that. Uh, letter spacing, uh, margins, basically more spacing, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Appearance, if you wanna make it uppercase, lowercase small caps i'm just gonna keep it lowercase alignment i don't really mess around with a lot of stuff here i mostly just change the color um probably some of the line spacing and the font the next step i don't really use an animation so i don't know if you want to use that i don't really know how to use it either so if you want to learn how to use that you might want to check out a different tutorial um so yeah i just mess around with the font here and that's basically it. So for the description, you're just gonna put in what you do. Just say, I'm a YouTuber or something like that. Like, what do you do? What's your pronouns? Basically just anything. So I go by she, they pronouns. So I just put she, they. And then maybe your interests too. Okay, this is really messy, but I'm just gonna just write some random stuff. She, they, interests, you know, I'm Minecraft YouTube. I am a YouTuber. Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. Now I'm just gonna change the color again. Um, I'm just gonna make a white. Uh, there you go. I'm just gonna make it white. And then I'm just gonna find the courier font. Yeah, I I kind of sound really weird because I can't. I don't really use my voice that much because I'm sick. So um, yeah, I might just have voice cracks sometimes. So I'm sorry. Okay. Uh. I, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Let's just change the letter spacing though. Line spacing, let's just make it a little bit closer. There we go. Nice. All right. So here is the buttons. You can choose it. So this is just leading to your socials. I mean, a lot of social media platforms limit like the amount of bio space. So that's why cards are really good for that. So like you can extend it more if you have more to say, if you want to. Um, link your social media accounts. So I have Instagram here. You choose the color. So yeah, I just would do that. Um, you just put also your link. Um, I don't really have my link right now unless I get it. So, uh, but I will do it. So I might just do that a little bit offline. Yeah, there's more icons here um you can just change those pretty much I, I won't really mess around with them that much yeah if you want to change the background how do we okay yeah you just have to click on the background and you can just upload from your library so, okay i'll just put a star here i don't know why i have a star okay here okay and then you can just change the size of it so i'm just gonna leave it like a full-on star and press accept there you go, I am a star creator. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. If you're happy with this, um, you can leave it like that. 
I, I didn't really try. I didn't really try making mine really pretty. I just just kind of rushed it. So if you're making your own card, make sure you take your time on this because I, I took no time at this at all. As you can see, I just have like a star and just random fonts and the colors are pretty much not clashing together. Okay, and now what you want to do is publish to the site. And you have to make an account. So I already have my own account, but it's pretty easy to make an account. Just pretty regular. Yeah, I might just have to log into my account first so we can get it to work. But I will also just change the links really quick so that we can see if these buttons actually work. Okay, guys, I'm back. I logged into my account. So to publish a card, you will just put in the title. I just put test card for description. I just put a card. I don't think you really have to put anything here, but if you want to put a little something, then go ahead. Uh, publish to card co. Click on that. Uh, you can also put in like your name, uh, dot card co. I just put my Roblox username because I had to put two Y's because L bub with two L's was stolen. So I just put E I E bub. And you have to choose one that's available. So you might have to play on with some words and yeah then once you're done you publish it so i'm just gonna publish mine and it will be waiting to be published and then now we're gonna go ahead and click on the link and see if it works e i i e bug dot card co so click on it and it will bring you to your card there we go so here is everything my name um the bio make sure it's more extended because i literally didn't put anything into it um and then here are your links and stuff so i just put my instagram and it will just lead to my instagram of course here it is if you want to follow me you can Uh, you can add a lot of things, like I said, you can also add images, but um, that will be in a different uh, area, like the portfolio section. Um, it should work the same as this. I think you'll get the hang of it once you know like how to manipulate with the links and the bios. So I think you can go ahead and try some images if you want. I forgot to show you one thing, and that's basically putting the link on your social media account. And that is the most important step, and I forgot that. So I will be showing you guys how to do that. Um, so what you want to do is go onto your social media account. So I'm going to be using Discord as an example. Once you're there, it will. Uh, you have to put on your links. So you can just put copy and you paste the link here so i already have a link let's just say i pasted it in and once you paste in the link you can click on it and it will lead you straight to the card so this is my card uh i did use the portfolios because i have these images here um if you also want to take some uh inspiration you can also use uh, this about me section. I have a lot more things on here than this one that I literally put no effort into. Yeah, you know, it was just an example, so. Um, but yeah, that's basically how to make a card. Um, if I wasn't really clear with anything, cause yeah, um, I'm just really just blabbing out some random words. So yeah, if you need help, you can always just ask me. Oh gosh, I just refreshed on accident. If you need help, you can just ask me in the comment section. I might just redo this tutorial if I am really bad at explaining it. But yeah, I hope you found this helpful. And if not, I'm really sorry, but I tried to guide you through the basics. And if you are using this feature, then that's great. Uh, thanks for tuning into the tutorial. I hope you guys have a great day. See you next time.